Charles Jaco, CNN, Miami. In our Daybreak Medical Report, a new device that is improving the quality of life for throat cancer patients. CNN's Jeff Levine explains how a valve is giving them the ability to speak again. Any problems swallowing? Yeah. I swallow too much. Bob Gallagher is happy to worry about his weight now. Two years ago, it was throat cancer and the loss of his voice that were his constant fears. I really didn't expect to be where I am today. If you'd asked me 18 or 15 months ago when I was going in for the operation. The procedure that reversed things for the 41-year-old bank executive is called a tracheoesophageal puncture. It's been around for years, but is being used more now because it improves quality of life. There has been a struggle within our field to develop an adequate rehabilitation to allow people to feel that they have control, that they have a voice that's their own. There are 12,000 new cases of voice box cancer each year. About one-third requires surgery. The tracheoesophageal puncture involves inserting an air valve in the throat, which allows a patient to speak more normally. The acceptance of this procedure has been tremendous, and I think it's probably the patient's excitement with it that's driven my excitement with it. During a laryngectomy, the flap that prevents food from going down the windpipe is removed. After surgery, patients are forced to breathe through a hole in the neck in an unnatural voice. But surgeons like Dr. Spiegel create an opening for the valve that lets patients push air up their throats to speak. Yes, I can talk. Today is the first day for Daniel Doherty to try out a new external valve that provides even more voice control. This is a maiden voyage. Mm. What's your reaction? Fantastic. But there is a downside. The device can dislodge, forcing food down the breathing passage, and care must be taken to prevent infections. They show that they're physically and mentally able to take care of the puncture and the prosthesis. I think that it's um, a good way to go. For Gallagher, it's exceeding expectations. I frankly did not expect that six months after the operation, I would be on the telephone, talking to people, and, and dealing in a normal business environment again. Hello, Tony. Jeff Levine, CNN, reporting. At the Ashby Inn.